Hi, I'm Healing Means. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a backyard shenanigans video. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back in the garden, the backyard area. Since the last time I did a backyard shenanigans video, or even like a YouTube short or community post, a lot have been going on in the backyard. Let me quickly show you what's going on. And quickly, will hopefully really mean quickly because it's the evening time, the mosquitoes is out. And I'm tired, I'm ready to go inside, y'all. I just wanted to start off with, I know you probably can't even see that. It's like a the moon is in half phase or something like that. Anyway, I thought that that was nice. All right, y'all. So enough of looking above. Let's let's look ahead. So uh, let me go over here. Well, first let me show you. So this is one, two, three, so five, thirty-one gallon trash cans. This is four five-gallon buckets full of double sifted one-eighth inch mesh soil. Here are my starts. They are like about to start dying. Y'all look at this. I think that's a, a squash or zucchini or something. We got flowers and everything, y'all. Everything is growing like out of the just y'all. I need to get these starts out of here and, and get them in the ground. I'm like one step closer, but it's still gonna be at least another week. So y'all, I don't know. The starts is lovely as they look now and as well as they doing, especially since I up potted the ones that was in this um, this container. Um, because I think I had most of these in the starter trays, which is barely like one inch by one inch and maybe two inches deep, three inches deep, maybe. Um, they grew out of that quick, so I re repotted them. And then these have just continued to grow, y'all. But as you can see, obviously everything is like busting through the seams i got to get this stuff planted um before they start dying and some of them have already started you know like like wilting so y'all here's the sweet potatoes i still have not turned this bucket y'all i'm gonna do it for real i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it this is two 15 gallon buckets and a five gallon bucket of my trash that's gonna go at the bottom of my raised beds here's another five gallon bucket of trash these are the compost in place pictures that I took from out of my raised beds, the double um, 8 by 4 and then the two 4 by 4s This is like stuff from the old raised bed. That's actually the 4 by 4 and 8 by 4 beds, um, raised bed boards, like just completely broken down. Um, some, I think that's 2 by 6 inch ladder mesh, the wire that you see over there. Here is the aloe vera still growing, still like blooming and, and making babies. I'm probably on seven or eight generation. And let me show y'all the big change in the garden or in the backyard because I don't even really have no garden no more like talking about it. This is where we are. Raised beds totally, completely broken down to the ground, to the landscaping fabric. Here is, I believe, all of these are like trash buckets. These were single sifted. They still need to be double sifted. This is another trash bucket. This is like four fifths of another 31 gallon trash can of double sifted soil. And this is two 45 gallon grow bags of soil. Oh, um, this might be 45 and that might be 35 or it might be the two, no, this one is 45 and this one is 35. Um, and here it is. Wait, let me see if I can turn it sideways. Here is the entire growing area of my yard. I think this is like 10 feet deep. And if I come to the edge of the apple tree, it's like 13 feet wide. So 10 by 13. It's not a really large space at all. My plan is to put six 
yellow pallets here and build raised beds on top of them and have four 20 inch planters where I can put my fruit trees in and some other stuff we have to see. I think I'm actually gonna trim about maybe 12 to 18 inches off the side of the apple tree off this side, you know, come the winter time. We just now, like right before I recorded this, we took all of the apples off the tree. So we got like a third round of apples off the tree. Um, and there's no more apples. Now I have this, if y'all see like this white, like this white little puffy, let me see. It's not, yeah, like this little white, little puffy stuff. I know that that's some kind of, like bug or pest or something it's like little cotton but it's coming in all over the apple tree it's coming in like all over the apple tree so i wanted to get all of the apples off as you can see y'all more flowers <laughs> more flowers coming in so but i don't want no more apples y'all i don't i just i don't want i don't want no more apples but you see like that white fuzzy stuff it's like all over so i just i ain't trying to deal with them no oh dang look a we left one apple one apple down there y'all i ain't about to go get it because i know they got everything under the sun creeping and crawling up in there i might try to get it later so this is the space that i'm working with as you can see it is like a very uneven so the next step in this whole deal is to even out this area it's it's very like lumpy and bumpy and and uneven and i'm gonna extend it all the way to the pavers right here um, I knocked down my boards. So this board right here and then the board down there, that was the border. But as we were going through and taking everything down and disassembling it, um, we knocked them down. So that got to be put back together. And just so you can see, so like if you could see the edge, hopefully this is showing. Like you could see the edge, how it's a slant down like from right here like to the other end it's a slant down so we built this up the last time so this is built up like at this point maybe 8 to 12 inches you know that's built up already to make like this back border of the garden space area and then yeah because this board this board right here is like the height that I need to go this way with so I'm gonna be doing that in the days and stuff to come this is the grubs that we've been like gathering along the way because when i see them i want to kill them i'm trying to run from this mosquito that keep trying to get me y'all i got a um i went and bought some 91 percent alcohol y'all <laughs> i bought some 91 percent alcohol and i put it in this spray bottle right here and i've been spraying everything that i don't like or that i don't want to see live all right let me show y'all this right quick so i keep cutting down these leaves y'all and Aunt jerry's um raised bed and they just keep growing back like i'm just i'm tired of like cutting them down look i think i have a whole bunch of like little let me see if i can get this to focus like little watermelon and cantaloupe i think they coming in like all over the place i still got beans that like keep growing in i keep picking them and of course they keep growing y'all look at this the swallowtails and the bugs, whatever it is that like the citrus leaves, y'all look, and especially my new leaves, look how they tan them up, toe up. But I have a lot of green lemons on this tree. So I know I'm going to get a lot of lemons. The mystery volunteer pepper, they have three peppers on here right now. Y'all, this tomato, oh Lord, look, or something is tan up. This was my patio tomatoes, and I have been trying to keep up with these plants, y'all. We got, um like the moths came back and the tomato horn worms came like when the birds left the worms came and they just like tearing everything up so this was my patio tomato and i think i still could um you know salvage you know like whatever but something is actually eating into the tomatoes y'all like they ain't playing so i'm not sure how much i'm gonna get off of this i think all of this has contributed to me like having such a late start this year this is the mystery cucumber i think we already got like three or four cucumbers off of here they have um some more cucumbers coming in and this plant is growing back this way into the sage 
and it's growing over this way and it done attached itself to this big flower stalk of whatever kind of flower this is y'all um this is the jamaican cherry tree not the jamaican sorrel so i have to change the tag on that y'all but i'm probably not not no time soon i ain't gonna lie <laughs> um these hummingbirds is about to get me but y'all let me see if I could step back. Oh, and I still, I got more flowers coming in on the lemon tree. So I have lemons and more flowers. It's just that the leaves look so ugly, y'all. Oh my God. Okay, so I can't even back up far enough for you to see like all of Aunt Jerry's garden. They have cucumbers everywhere. If I could just kind of show in there. Um, and you can see like the watermelon leaves and the cantaloupe leaves, which is, you know, different from the, the cucumber leaves um also the sunflowers y'all they they trapped up in here somewhere definitely did not um plant this like i should have <laughs> so everything could get you know what it wanted to get they have cucumbers everywhere cucumbers everywhere but that's good because i want to um i want to do some pickles maybe i might try to do some pickles i'm not sure why all the leaves over here is wilting because i watered um and fertilized not that long but look at uh, the whole cucumber done grew behind the doggone chicken wire but at least the whole thing grew behind the chicken wire and not um and not halfway through and, and half not y'all look at this cute they have cucumbers like all over everywhere and i have little bitty small watermelon and cantaloupe like all throughout here but i think it's just too much stuff going on for you know anything to really grow and develop and plus the weather is faking us out, so it's starting to get a little bit cool, y'all. But it's finna get back hot again. Watch. These onions that I did not expect anything to happen with them. I mean, they definitely like growing up here at the top. I planted some more of the red romaine lettuce and some more of the butter crunch and the Paris Island. But they just not, the seeds are not germinating and it's not growing. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. This is the Sun Bright Sweet Pepper that had a rough start i think but you know now it's coming through this is the keystone giant pepper that's coming through pretty well i can't let me see what's the oh these are the purple the purple bell peppers and you can see like a few bell peppers in here y'all i'm trying not to get too close because they have a grasshopper or something that that belong that live up in here not belong but he live up in here and i don't want to get too close because i can't see it until you know it be like right in my face giving me dapping me but giving me a pound so i don't i don't want to do that this is the miracle leaf which is just you know i can't believe like when i first got this thing it had like two leaves on it two little small baby leaves now i can't even fit it all in the frame yes you on camera the hummingbirds is trying to get me y'all i'm losing my light this is i think that's the spearmint y'all no 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 that's the lemon balm up here and this is the spearmint down here um this is some kind of flower y'all I, I don't know i'm trying to hurry up because i'm losing light here's another uh, another cucumber so like i said we already got about three or four cucumbers from off here of the mystery cucumber and there's more but it have extended so it's planted in this pot and it done came all the way around here and it's just you know it's just doing what it want to do so let's go back this way I got water in here, so I had to take like this top basket out and dump it over. So that's all my, just my little, you know, stuff I be having in here. Just little supplies, my little garden supplies. And here's some stuff under the table. We had buckets under the table that I had to use to try to store all of the soil. Because as we sift in the soil, we're running out of space to store it. I, I hear y'all. My cherry tree, let me back up so you can see the whole thing. This cherry tree is just beautiful. Here's all the pallets. We cleared them out the way, you know, as we uh, broke down the raised beds. This is my, okay, so this is the 45 gallon grow bag of the sweet potatoes. And y'all see the leaves and stuff is still green. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna just leave it. I mean, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it. And I ain't turned over the first, um, the first bucket of sweet potatoes so what i'm gonna do with this one so i'm just gonna leave it this is like a 35 gallon grow bag that just kind of turned into my earthworm thing they have a spider web like right they got a spider web so i'm not gonna go no further <laughs> but y'all see st Ugh! the hummingbirds is flying close y'all and they're making me nervous y'all know how i get so this is my hibiscus and you see 
um the black cobra pepper so most of the peppers is red but they got some black ones and some green ones my grape uh the trellis like broke we was trying to move it and it broke i never fixed it so the grapes is graping <laughs> This is my uh, Jerusalem artichoke. You can see the flowers. You might not be able to see. I think the sun is like. Ah! God dog it. Uh-uh, y'all. I got to go inside. Anyway, so you see. So, like, hopefully you can see the strawberries. The bell peppers. They just have, like, a few bell peppers left on there. I picked most of them off. Uh, What else is over there? The other cherry tree back there. And the blood orange. The, uh pink lemonade lemon tree the leaves are getting completely tore up and then the washington navel orange and so that's what i got going on back here my uh compost bins totally need to be dumped and like the the soil and the the scraps and all that stuff need to be redistributed back in there i'm gonna take care of that also in my uh, master composting class we are going to get um like the composter that they have at like a discounted price or whatever you can't get it for free you just got to pay for it though but at a discounted price and so i think i'm gonna get that one um and it's a open bottom just like a plastic it's like a a, a square trash can uh with a lid on it and an open bottom that's basically you know what it is and i kind of have that already going myself except of course my trash can't have a bottom I'm just showing y'all this as I work my... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Woo! Okay, so I'm going to try to show y'all this. Oh, my God. Without freaking... I see what's eating, like, the whole tomato and not just the leaves. Y'all look at this thing. Oh, my God. And it's moving. Oh, my God. Look, oh, look how big that thing is. Oh, my God. Okay, all right, yeah, y'all. Ooh, thank you, Jesus, for not uh, thank you for not letting me see that. Like on the way, uh-uh. No, y'all. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Y'all see this why I can't be out here in the garden. Did y'all see how big that thing was? If I had a ruler that I could put next to it to see it's it's fat, like a jumbo marker, fat. That's what's eating the tomatoes, not just the leaves. We picked off probably like five or six of those tomato hornworms, and I promise you, I did not see that. I promise you, that thing was not there, but <laughs> it's there. Did you see how big that thing was? Y'all look, look, yeah, I still got the tag in my head. Um, y'all, let me get inside. I'm losing my life. My <laughs> y'all, not my life. I'm losing the light. I felt like I had lost my life when I saw that thing. Oh my god, see. I'm so glad it can't fly or nothing like that. Y'all, the mosquitoes is tearing me up. Let me get inside. Um, Y'all, what's my outro? Um, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for this video. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, click the notifications bell. Y'all, check out my links, um, my little affiliate and referral links. Um, you know, I might get a little commission or discount or something like that. Trust me, it ain't like a lot, lot. And it's only if you're in the market for those you know companies or businesses or whatever you know, support your girl please help me out y'all i can't even like think straight or whatever but i need to get inside yeah y'all like subscribe comment click the notifications bell share with everyone you know till next time be safe be well and be blessed and y'all i'm getting inside right now